That's oh. Are you the mailman? No, I'm Freddy Fish. Go away. I'm waiting for an important package. Okay, then. Something. Let's check. We did do something. Something. <laughs> oh, just when I was getting used to going that way. I think that did something. Phew! I think I heard something. Disgusting. That's strange. I'm Freddy Fish, and this is my best friend, Luther. Hi! Well, pleased to meet you. I'm Sheriff Shrimp, the local lawman. I'd shake your fins, but as you can see, I'm a little tied up right now. woo hoo -wee. Sure is good not to be spinning around like tumble kelp in a hurricane. It looked like fun! Well, I get a little dizzy. Watch this, Freddy! I learned all about knots in the Fish Scouts! Um... Sheriff Zachariah Shrimp is in your deck. If there's ever anything you need, why, you just ask. Well, as a matter of fact, there are some rustlers who... But I must be off! There's law breaking a foot somewhere! I can smell it! But... You there! No loitering! <clears throat> uh, Freddy! What? Oh! I'm sorry, Luther. Wow! That's amazing! I was in Fish Scouts, too. This could come in handy. <laughs> Hi, I'm Freddy Fish, and this is my best buddy, Luther. Hello, I'm you. Silly, you're not Freddy. No, you like the letter U. Just 
You? Is it short for something? Yes, it's short for Uriah, Jedediah, Euripides, Algernon, Fortescue, Forsyth, and... Um, oh, now, what was the rest of it? Um, we'll just call you you. Most folks do. Wow, that's a long name. Okay. Looks like the wheel on this wagon has fallen off. Maybe we can fix it. Yes, we can. <laughs> The wheel looks like it just needs a new nut to hold it onto the wagon. Oh, that's hot. A chewing gum? Maybe we can stick that wheel on with some bubble gum. That's good thinking, but I don't think it would hold on well enough. Are you ready to start? I guess. Here's a fun game. Pop the bubbles before they run into you. Yep, it broke down, so I'm delivering the mail on foot. Takes a little longer that way, though. The wheel looks like it just needs a new nut to hold it onto the wagon. There should be a nut in the middle of the wheel to hold it onto the wagon. This your seahorse? Yep, his name's Elmer. Hi, Elmer. <laughs> How long has it been since your wagon broke down? Little over two years. It looks like you've gone about five feet since then. Yep, making pretty good time, pretty good time. Do you just have that one delivery to make? Yep, after this one it should be time for me to retire. <laughs> me, I couldn't help noticing that your mailbox door is a little bit broken. Don't I know it. It's very hard to hermit properly with a door that won't close all the way. Do you think we could have it? No, at least not before the mail comes. It's a picture of a hogfish rustler. You don't get splinters. Hey, that sail is keeping the 
water from coming down here. Gee, there's a porthole. Let's try to get over there. We can't get in there. The water level is too low. That's not gonna do me any good. I think there's a handle missing. There! It fits perfectly! Now we've got a handle on that tail. Luther, you are. Oh, that's better. like lemonade it's a little more sour than lemonade is boy you're not kidding I kind of like it though Purple and pokey. Hey, is it on me? No, silly. It's a purple sea urchin over there. Oh. I wasn't afraid. Him. Oh. Oh. 
Luther. <laughs> this is an air pump. You should be more careful. Oh, sure. Now you tell me. be able to use this. G. M. All right. What about cake? Will you eat cake? Here, try it! But... It's chocolate! See my brother. I'm Freddy, and this is Luther. Well, it's real nice to meet you both. My name is Fluke. Boy, Fluke, you're so big, I bet you could swallow the whole town. <laughs> I doubt it, but I can fit a lot of folks in my mouth. That's how come I'm the cabaret. Cabaret? We put on plays and shows and things right inside my mouth. In your mouth? That sounds interesting. Could we take a look? Well, the cabaret's closed right now, but sure, take a look. Hey, this is neat. Hey, look, it's a 10-gallon hat. Oh, boy! Oh. It's stuck in there pretty good! Yeah! Come on, Luther! Let's try this! How do people see out of these things? Oh, wait, there's an eye hole. I think you could use a little bit smaller hat. They make smaller ones? It was driving me crazy. Can we borrow it? Sure. 
I'd only get it caught in my teeth again anyway. Thank you. Thanks for getting it out. You're welcome. Um, keep them on ice until I get back. Stop. Sign it, you know who. And deliver it right away. It's urgent. Yes, sir. Oh. <clears throat> well, hi, kids. Hello. Say, that looks about right. Perfect. Thanks a lot. We owe you one. You're welcome. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Coffee break? Exactly. Now that your floor is finished, do you think we can borrow your screwdriver for a while? Sure. In fact, you can keep it. Consider it payment for a job well done. Gee, thanks. Buy one of your wheel nuts, please. Certainly! Now, the nuts cost three purple sea urchins, so I'll start you on one of our nut layaway plans. And you can have your nut when you've paid me the other two purple sea urchins. And may I say that a fickle fit wheel nut is really an excellent investment. Yes, we have two purple sea urchins. Here's another purple sea urchin towards our wheel nut. Very good. Let's see. That leaves only one more purple sea urchin before the... Here's the last purple sea urchin for our wheel nut. Can we have it now? Of course. You can select any shape you like. This one looks good. Thank you. No, thank you. Can we buy another wheel nut? We don't need another wheel nut. Good evening, sir. May I interest you in... You got the 20 clams you owe me, Gil? Uh, not exactly. How much is not exactly? I've got a few purple sea urchins. You know, my dogfish needs an operation. Don't worry, I've got a really big deal about to go down. Yeah? What is it? All I can say is, it's really big. I'll have your clams in a couple of days. Well, okay. Whatever you got going, I hope it's good. Oh, it is. It's real good. Hey, I've got 
got an idea? Be free, little boy. Is it coming back down? I don't think so, Luther. Oh, bye-bye, boy. Look, Luther. This suitcase had a three-ton anchor on top of it, and it's not even scratched. Wow! that bandana. I'm at my wit's end. These hogfish are driving me crazy. They won't eat or sleep. And they're so noisy. Where'd they get the accordion? Uh, I don't know. Did you try telling them that story about your trip to Akron? That always puts me to sleep. Oh, thanks a lot. I'm going to have to call Mr. Big again. Oh.
Careful there, don't ever mention G-L-U-E around old Elmer, swoops him something awful. What's he got against glue? Box door now that you're not using it anymore? Sure. Take it and leave me to hermit in peace. Thank you.
Ellen hat.
It's a bandana. I need that right now. It's a ten gallon hat. We can do this. Outfits look nice. We've got a hat like that and a bandana. Our hat is a different color though. We still need a big old rustler belt buckle. I can't keep it in the hat. There's a hole in it. Ten gallon hat. This letter might come in handy. That's not gonna do me any good. One letter.
I'm busy. What's there to do inside a mailbox? I'm hermiting. Oh. I don't know, we can do that too. Like a blacksmith. It's gum! Would you like a piece of gum? Thanks, but I wouldn't want to spoil my dinner. Here, can you make us a belt buckle out of this? Sure, just bring me a letter to put on it and I'll get to work. It's an F. Here, this is for the belt buckle. <gasps> okay, stand back. My best work! All that's missing is a belt! I didn't get a belt. Here you go! Oh, there you go. Thank you! Yeah, thanks, Mr. Torso. Please, call me Nelson. I think you got it. I think these wrestler outfits look nice. We've got all of those things. Our hat is a different color, though. It's a ten gallon hat. All I ever wanted was to be a hogfish rancher. I had no idea it would be so much work. Maybe there are some tricks to it that we don't know about. Yeah, but I'm going back in. Don't let any non-rustlers inside, okay? Radio!
Ada coba That's part of my disguise. Part of my disguise. What do you think? It might be a little big for you. But do I look like a wrestler? Oh! Yes! I'd almost believe you were a wrestler. Good. That's what we want. There. Those wrestlers won't be able to tell me apart from the real thing. It's a great outfit. It's Gum. He doesn't seem like the chewing gum type. Luther, you stay here while I try to get past the guard. Wait, I'm coming with you. Good thinking, Luther. Let's try to get past the guard. Hold it! This is a... Well, howdy, fellow wrestler. And howdy. I reckon Mr. Big must have sent you to help us out with the hogfish, right? Um... Poor Mori, he's having a terrible time with the hogfish. Well, go on in. He'll be glad to see you. Thank you. We did it! Shh. We did it. We're inside. Which way do you think the hogfish are? Well, I think I hear squealing coming from... Hey! You two aren't rustlers! What are you doing here? Um, we were just leaving. You're not going anywhere! Mr. Big will know what to do with you! Nobody knows the trouble I've seen! Nobody knows What do we do now? <laughs> didn't even budge. Nope, this door is definitely locked. It looks like there might be a way out under all these cannonballs. Phew! These are heavy! There! That does it. Are the missing hogfish all right? We're not missing. We know just where we are. Ooh. Did you come to rescue us? That's right. Good. The food in here is terrible. This little piggy went to market. This little piggy stayed home. Oh no. Not again. where the rustlers went. And they locked the door, too. Maybe we can get the hogfish out through this hole. The hogfish won't fit through there, but it looks like you and I can. I 
guess we'll have to work out another way to get those hogfish out. They'll need a bigger opening. Yeah. I wonder what this does. This is fun. Maybe we can find a way to yeah. something behind this thing. You're right. I can't see it very well. The rudder's in the way. I think we have to move this rudder if we're going to get that thing out of there. Way to move it. something like a creaking noise I think it came from out there hey hey <laughs> Whee! look I'm the captain Did you hear something? Like a creaking noise? I think it came from out there. On pretty well. I wonder if this will bring the anchor back up. Uh, 
Would you do that? This should free those hogfish. Luther, prepare to drop anchor. Ready, ready. Fire away. What? No! Come back! Please come back! We're going home. The food's terrible here. Oh, what do we do now, Mori? I think you should give yourselves up. You're under arrest in the name of the law. Law? What law? Yeah, I don't see any law. Then I suggest you turn around! Real slow like. It's Sheriff Shrimp! Yeah, and just about everybody in town it looks like. Youngsters, that was mighty fine work apprehending these two. I'll be taking them off to jail now. You boys ought to be ashamed of yourselves. Hold on, Sheriff. There's one more person involved with the rustling. Yeah, that's right. They kept talking to somebody called Mr. Big. I never saw his face, but he was in charge. He planned the rustling and everything. Is that so? Well, what if it is? We'll never reveal the identity of Mr. Big. Yeah, you'll never catch him. Actually, I know who Mr. Big is. He's right here in the room. <gasps> when the wrestlers caught Luther and me, they called Mr. Big to come and decide what to do with us. I suspect he was already here when you all arrived and just slipped in with the posse. Well, which one is it then? Mr. Big must be Sahara Slim. I assure you, I'm not your perpetrator. We saw you sending a telegram. You said, keep them on ice. Yeah, that was about some suspects in another case. You see, I'm here undercover. I'm actually Sahara Slim under Sea Marshal. <sighs> I sure didn't expect that. I'm here investigating possible violations of the undersea coffee break statutes. <laughs> I guess you're probably not a rustler then. That was smart to notice the telegram, but he's not Mr. Big. So who is? Who's Mr. Big? Phil, when we were at the soda loom and we found the note telling the rustlers to meet here, you made a phone call to someone. You were talking about the note. Well, I... And when we got here and found the hogfish, I noticed this. What's that? It's sheep music, Sheriff. The sheep music to this little piggy, to be exact. No need to go on. It's my music. Moray was having trouble getting the hogfish to sleep. So I suggest that he try singing this little piggy to them. Pat, lot of good that did. Phil, does that mean that you're... you're... I'm Mr. Big. <laughs> I, I never meant to hurt anybody, you understand? It's just that I've got 17 children, and I don't make that much as a piano player. I thought Hogfish Ranching might bring in a little extra cash. Well, that's no excuse. You all ought to be ashamed. You just shouldn't take things that don't belong to you. It hurts other people. And it's we'll just plain wrong. You're right. We're sorry. We didn't want to be rustlers. All we ever really wanted was to be hogfish ranchers. But we don't know how. Ranchers, you say? You know, I do still need some help out of my place. I'm glad this worked out so well for everyone. Freddy, Luther, I can't thank you enough for all you've done here. The hogfish are home safe. And the rustlers is brought to justice. Yeehaw! How's their immunity service working out? That's community service, son. Oh yeah. How's that going? I think they're coming along quite well. It's hard 
work, but when I'm done with them, they'll be real hogfish ranchers. Can we learn to be hogfish ranchers too? Of course. Here, I've got something for you. Ten gallon hats? Yours is a five gallon, so it'll fit just right. Oh boy! Now come on, you two. I'll show you how to tie a lasso. Oh, give me a home where the buffalo roam, where the deer and the antelope play. What's all that bullshit? Party all day. Right. Thank you for joining me in this gameplay in Freddy Fish's gameplay. I hope you had fun and got ideas on what to do when playing this game. Turn that bed out.